Bas goes, my people. So no be small thing that happen. Hmm. On the twelfth of this month, September twenty twenty four, will make it exactly one year since Mobad died. And up to now, there is no justice for this guy. We we'll never know what's happened to this guy. As it is now, we don't know whether this guy has been buried or he's not buried. We don't just know. No justice, no barrier. But in this video, very dark man. See, he know the person where they connected to how this guy was spied. And he get evidence. And inside the video, very dark man say, if anybody wants, may they carry and go sue. Say he could provide evidence. All right, what I'm about to review now, I'm pretty sure if it gets to the people involved, they will quickly try to destroy evidence. However, I am willing to work with the Nigerian police and give them the evidences I have. And also, anybody that feels that I'm lying, they can sue me to the law court and I will bring evidences to back up whatever thing I am posting now. Yesterday, I sent Mobad wife Instagram handle to my hacker, the person that hacks for me and gets my evidences. So when I sent it to him, I said, check this name and Iabo if the IP matches. He said, I'll start the work now and once I'm done, I'll let you know the result. The geolocation is very delicate. Toss the shortical proce uh, procession. Let me start. Then I said, okay. Um, I sent him that message around 11.25. So this morning around 1.04 a.m., he sent me a message and he said, this one no even put in any effort. Same person. She's literally just switching accounts with one device. CIP address. Same CIDR notation. Same IP address. She is the laziest and lousiest I've seen in a long while. Now, let's quickly analyze the IP address. Now, as you can see, HTTP Instagram underscore C33 Y underscore. That is mobile wife. Now, the IP address is this. DB IP 0109-2024, IP address 163-70-147-174. Now, let's quickly check Iabo Ojo's own. As you can see, HTTP, Instagram, Iabo Ojo, Feshpri, DB, IP 0109-2024, IP address 163-70-147-174. As you can see, the two IP address matches, meaning this, um, these both accounts are being logged on one phone. And we all know who, obviously, Iyabo Ojo. The question is, why is Mobad Wife Instagram logged on Iyabo Ojo's phone? Obviously, she's actually the one posting on behalf of Mobad Wife. That's number one. The reason why I said the evidences will be destroyed immediately it gets to them is this. If you remember, I came online and I said, this lover IP address match with Tonto DK's IP address, which I can bring back again to judge you guys' memory. This is this lover IP address. As you can see, Instagram this lover underscore media outlets. Um, 18560219174. Tonto DK 18560219174. Immediately I dropped this video. Instagram, this um, lover deleted the account and lied to the general public that the account was dis disabled. The account was not disabled. They tempered with the evidences. Immediately I posted it, they went to go and delete it. So nothing happened. It wasn't disabled. They deleted the account. They understand. That's why I said they would temper with evidence. Now let's go back to all this case. If you remember, Yabo Ojo, this lover and Tonto, they came for this case. Also, let me take your mind back again. You remember this video? Now, if the camera was installed there, let's even assume that the camera was installed there. The camera is outside now, not inside the living room, not in their bedroom, not in their staircase, outside. No bad died inside the house. So even if there was a camera... You all heard the elbow, Joe. That's from my mouth. She said, even if there's CCTV in the compound, the CCTV will not capture what happened inside the house because Mobad by inside the house and CCTV camera was outside. She sounded very sure. I still ask the question again. I say, Iyabo Ojo, how did you know Mobad by inside the house? Ladies and gentlemen, the truth of this case is this. Mobad wife is not innocent, obviously. The truth of the matter is, it's possible, 100% possible, that she was the one that physically attacked the boy and maybe not deliberate, maybe not trying to harm him, then mistake happened and the boy died. You understand? That's why they dropped the, the boy body on the ground 
and they waited for not for nurse to come from Kotonu. Now, if you remember the testimony Mobad wife gave, she said the reason why they didn't rush Mobad to hospital quickly is because Mobad does not like the hospital. Your husband, they buy, you say you know carry on go hospital because the guy no like hospital. But at the end of the day, when you don't eventually buy, you call they carry on the rush go hospital. Now, the three boys in that video, what are they saying? Do you understand? What are they saying? Anyways, like I said, mobile wife is the number one suspect. On the 12th of September, we'll make it one year since, make it one year since Mobad buy. These people came and said Mobad didn't have any money, but they are parking properties. Mobad didn't have anything, but they said they wield uh, Mobad rights wheel, Mobad bought land and he wheeled it to his son. Do you understand? Say so he wheeled it to his son. Now, according to my investigation, the manual record Mobad left to $75,000. Now, these same people again try to pin it on Prime Boy. And Prime Boy is also saying the wife knows a lot of things about it. This same wife does not have time to talk about anything pertaining to Mobad, but you have time to go and pack properties for Mobad House. You understand? Nigerians, I know a lot of you women are very sentimental, but I pray something like this does not happen to your family members any day, anytime soon. And here, about Joe, I want to tell you this. You have children. I think you have a son and a daughter. I'm not even sure, but I know you have a daughter. But I heard that you have a son. Now, you have a son and a daughter. I pray in high heavens that nothing of this will happen to your children. And I pray whatever thing you have involved in this mobile case, I pray it doesn't haunt your children. But if you feel what I'm saying now is defamation of character or I'm lying, you can sue me to the law court. And like I said, I have evidences to back up my claim. Thank you very much. Like said, my people don't be smart, you know. Just what we said this thing don't they rest to case. Like people like Kemi, Kemi don't touch she don't come on her hand for this thing. But let her she go still put hand. Very dark man. The last time he said he no go do anything about this thing again, but still, it's still they do. It's like the blood of this guy, just the Christ, they gonna find out who bite me and serve justice. So nobody go rest to who know whether even the price will the flesh on the fuel price where they add for this country because of this boy nobody knows okay well very dark man don't call out yabo joy again i'm gonna drop an opinion in the comment section how far how i think waiting very dark man talk you relate i be you know relate see you guys in the next video